motion of a body under gravity that is free fall students if you drop something like this it is falling freely acceleration due to gravity is constant it does not change if a body is dropped from some height initial velocity zero whenever we say dropped it means initial velocity is zero the body is dropped initial velocity is zero when the body is falling take acceleration plus g remember v equal to u plus a t u zero a is plus g t remember s equal to u t plus half a t square s is h u zero to half g t square v square minus u square equal to 2 a s u 0 a s g 2 g h and distance traveled in n second is 2 n minus 1. So, these are simple results we can use when the body is dropped. This is meant for the initial beginner learners in physics, those who have just joined 9th standard or 11th standard physics. So, just basics I am telling. Now, graph of distance velocity and acceleration <coughs> with respect to time. First of all, I am taking graph of distance with time. Distance is half g t square s or h equal to half g t square. So, it is parabolic nature half g is constant t is variable s is it is of the nature y equal to k x square. Velocity time graph if you take velocity time graph of the freely falling body it will be a straight slope theta is equal to g that is acceleration due to gravity what is g equal to v upon t now acceleration time graph when the body is falling its acceleration is constant it does not change with time so g is constant so this graph third or i can say c graph is for acceleration when you are falling freely every time acceleration is constant on the planet say earth so is it clear the graph b for the velocity time and the graph a for the distance time any question thank you